Hello fun people, I'm Isaac Carlson, your guide through the wonderful world of Disney, and today I want to go through who Alberto's father was, where he went, and what he might be doing in the world of Pixar's newest film, Luca. And of course, spoilers are ahead. You live up here? Yeah, me and my dad. He's not even here a whole lot, so I pretty much just do whatever I want. Now, there were a lot of things I wondered about as I watched Luca. Like, are the named fish that Luca watches over being raised to be eaten? What exactly happens to the sea monsters' tails when they become humans? And why is Ercole such a knob? But more than anything, what I continued to think about was the absent father of Alberto, who left his son alone in the tower they had once called home. Sure, Alberto plays it off like he's got the cool dad, he's just a cool kid who can do whatever he wants, but in truth, he didn't want that life. Your dad sounds so cool. You're lucky he lets you do what you want. Yeah. For sure. Yes, Alberto had the freedom to be with anyone he wanted, to come and go as he pleased, and to collect as many human who's-its and what's-its as he wanted, but that came with a burden. Alberto was lonely and became overprotective over the people who came into his life because he expected everyone to leave him. The pain of having his father abandon him led Alberto to put up emotional walls as he struggled to cope with the reality that his father might never come back to him, which is an important idea to remember. Alberto's dad didn't return out of the blue one day, meaning he wasn't captured or killed. At least that wasn't the reason he left Alberto initially. He consciously communicated to Alberto that he was leaving him. I just thought that maybe he'd change his mind. But where did he go? Well, Alberto explains that his dad talked about the human world a lot. Alberto may have never met a land monster or traveled into Puerto Rosso himself before meeting Luca, but he was exposed to the wonders that mankind was able to create, and he came to the belief that the best offerings of the world were above the water. I mean, that's why Alberto and his father both moved into and lived in that tower he was staying in, which we can tell they both slept in through the two hammocks that were still hung up when Luca first visited. Sure, they they were both sea monsters, but they loved their lives on land. Have you ever gone to the human town? My dad told me all about it, so I'm pretty much an expert. And that love of land, I also think could play into why Alberto loved the Vespa. Alberto glorified his father, which I think probably played a part in him internalizing his love for the human world. Therefore, I believe Alberto's father probably also instilled into his son an excitement for the machine that represented freedom. It's just the greatest thing that humans ever made. So maybe when Alberto's father left, he did so to explore the surface world that they loved so much on a Vespa that could take him farther onto land than he could have ever imagined. Unlike Luca's grandmother, who would occasionally go to the surface on the weekends, I believe Alberto's dad wanted to go far from the coast so he could see the world, a dream that would also resonate with his son long after he left, possibly because he consciously or subconsciously believed he could solve his own problems like his father had. Maybe Alberto's father met a partner or friend who wanted to move away from Puerto Rosso. I mean, Alberto never spoke of his mother, so maybe she died or left the family when he was just a baby. I think it's possible he never had a relationship with her because it, through his discussions of his parents, he never spoke about her. So it's possible that Alberto's dad was trying to create a new life with a new sea monster or human. Maybe he was even hoping to start a new family or on the other side of the spectrum, maybe he just didn't want to have any responsibilities anymore and felt a desire to explore without anyone depending on him. If Alberto had any supportive family living around Puerto Rosso, I think Alberto's dad would have left Alberto with him, or Alberto would have gone to them long before Luca came into Alberto's life. Therefore, it seems like Alberto's dad probably just stayed with Alberto long enough to feel he had completed his role as a father before he gave up his responsibilities. He convinced himself he was better without Alberto and desired to start a new era of his life without his son on land. And with that desire and the belief that Alberto was old enough to be on his own, he left his son in hopes of becoming free. But luckily, through Luca's friendship, Alberto was not only able to move past that horrible and painful experience, but he also found a new family with Julia and Massimo. And to learn more about how Massimo arose as a new father in Alberto's life, check out my video explaining Luca's ending. But fun people, let me know what you think happened to Alberto's biological father in the comments or over on my Discord, which you can gain access to by joining our community over on Patreon, and make sure to subscribe for more magical discussions. Finally, I hope you have a magical day.